This is the EOS 1DX, the latest model in Canon's 1D series of professional SLRs. Unlike the 1D Mark IV, which has a 1.3 times crop factor, the 1DX has a full frame sensor, so there's no focal length magnification factor. At just 18.1 million, the pixel count of the 1DX was a bit of a surprise to owners of the 21.1 million pixel 1DS Mark III, but Canon has kept the new camera's resolution down to ensure better image quality at the higher sensitivity settings. To this end, Canon tells us that the pixels on the 1DX's sensor are 21% bigger than those on the 1DS Mark III's chip. Image quality is further boosted by the fact that the micro lenses over the photoreceptors are gapless, and this increases their light gathering potential. Two Digic 5 Plus processors handle the output from the 1DX's sensor. As well as allowing sensitivity to set it up to ISO 204800 when the range is expanded, this enables images to be shot at up to 12 frames per second. In fact, if you can cope with the focus and exposure being set at the start of the sequence, it's even possible to shoot JPEGs at up to 14 frames per second. Like the 5D Mark III, the 1DX has a 61-point autofocus system. These points can be selected individually or in groups. The way the system responds in continuous autofocus mode can also be customised using this dedicated menu screen. As you would expect with a camera that retails for around £4,500, the 1DX feels very solidly built and it's able to withstand exposure to bad weather thanks to its seals around the controls and joints. Handling-wise, the big news for the 1DX is the introduction of this second mini joystick multi-controller. This is with an easy reach of your thumb when the camera is held in the upright orientation. This makes it much easier to navigate the menu or change AF point when shooting in portrait format but it's a shame that the menu doesn't rotate to make it easy to read when the camera is on its side. Full HD video technology is becoming an increasingly important feature and the 1DX has ports to connect both an external mic and headphones to monitor sound recording. Helpfully, this dial is touch sensitive during video shooting and it can be used to adjust the exposure compensation and sound level. Tapping the top or the bottom of the dial switches between the two options while tapping the left or right sides adjusts the settings. Although it can't match the Nikon D800 for resolving power, the 1DX is still capable of capturing a lot of detail, and on the whole, JPEG images look great straight from the camera. As usual, post-capture adjustment of the RAW files is the best option for maximising image quality. In evaluative mode, the IFC on metering does an excellent job with the exposure, and the auto white balance system produces natural looking, if slightly warm, images. Noise is also extremely well controlled, and images captured at ISO 51200 generally look great, even at A3 size. All things considered, the 1DX is an excellent, if expensive, camera. For more details, take a look at our review online at techradar.com.